Now the latest on that daycare tragedy in the Bronx. The two suspects arrested in that case now face federal drug charges after four children overdosed on fentanyl Friday. A one-year-old died. Federal prosecutors say investigators found a brick of fentanyl on top of children's play mats used for napping, describing the conduct of the suspects as unconscionable and inexcusable. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live in Kingsbridge with the very latest on this. Derek. Surely this story just gets worse and worse as we get more details. We did get some details yesterday uh, after the two appeared in federal court. And this morning, uh, prosecutors and uh, I should say police are actually looking for the defendant's husband. No sign of him, but they do have his text messages to his wife, the daycare operator. After she tried to delete them, they say, while sitting in the police precinct, uh, they were able to recover those texts. And they also found this. Take a look at your screen. This is a photo of the kilogram brick of fentanyl, as well as a drug drug press items confiscated from the Divino Nino daycare on Morris Avenue. Prosecutors say daycare operator Gray Mendez and her associate Arlisto Acevedo Brito are responsible for poisoning four children in their care all under the age of three. And that before calling 911 last Friday, Mendez called her husband first. Brito seen leaving out the back door on surveillance video with two full shopping bags. That's according to prosecutors. Now this is a photo of one-year-old Nick Nicholas Dominici, who died while taking his afternoon nap. Prosecutors say the, the naps those children were, the mats, I should say, those children were sleeping on had been stored underneath deadly fentanyl. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York spoke outside federal court Tuesday after their court appearance. I also have a message for anyone out there who was selling fentanyl. Stop pushing this poison. It kills. It ruins lives. And it will ruin yours, too, when we catch you, convict you, and send you to federal prison. And Mendez and her alleged co-conspirator both facing 20 years in prison for that count of uh, a possession with intent to distribute narcotics. That is in addition to the murder charge they're facing. That's a totally separate case happening here in the Bronx. Report